After installing the mSigner plugin, make sure that you have installed the DSC on your computer as per steps given by the DSC issuing authority. Once the DSC is installed, it will become available for registering with the GST portal and linking it with the respective authorized signatory configured in your GST profile. To do that, start by logging in to the GST portal and ensure that the dashboard screen is displayed. Click the downward arrow besides your username to open the profile menu and select the register or update DSC option. From the next screen that appears, open the drop down list to select the PAN of the authorized signatory for whom you wish to register the DSC. Select the desired authorized signatory from the list. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'll select Aurora T. Raj. Next, check the box to confirm that you have downloaded and installed the mSigner plugin on your computer and click the Proceed button to continue. The mSigner window will pop up displaying the list of DSCs that you have installed. Assuming that the DSC of Aurora T. Raj is already installed, it will show up in the list as displayed. I'll go ahead and select it and click the Sign button. At this point, the GST portal will validate the PAN associated with the selected DSC against the PAN of the authorized signatory that was selected from the list. If both PAN matches, the system will display a confirmation message indicating that the selected DSC has been successfully registered. Aurora T. Raj can now use his DSC in the GST portal. It's that simple.